it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet this easy crochet slouchy beanie. This is a super duper easy hat to stitch up and we're gonna do it every step of the way and every stitch of the way. This was actually a pretty popular request when I came out with my Estelle slouch hat. I'll put the link down below for that. That's kind of the uh, bulkier version of this. I did get some requests on a worsted weight version of that hat. So I've created the worsted weight version. So thank you so much for all of your um, requests and comments and I really appreciate it. So I was really glad to uh, be able to share this pattern with you of the uh, just a really we're going to start from the bottom and create a little bit of a brim with some post stitches and work our way up with some V stitches. So if you made the Estelle slouch hat it's a very similar hat it's just in a little bit lighter weight yarn um, for that. And we're just going to be using one ball of yarn, which makes it even more exciting. I like those uh, one skein projects. So you can also see pictures on how I sort of styled this over on the Fiberflux blog. You can uh, check out the link down below for that. The finished hat has a height of about 13 and a half inches and a, a circumference of 22 inches. So uh, this hat, like I said, is it's slouchy, it's generously sized, and it's just a really pretty, very comfy hat to wear. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure will be super helpful, especially if you wanna change up the sizing a little bit for your hat. We're gonna be using a six millimeter J crochet hook. This is my Streamline Wood by Furls. Um, I'll put the link down below if you'd like to get one for yourself. And then we're gonna be using this beautiful yarn here. This is called Color Theory by Two of Wands and Lion Brand Yarn. This is a yarn I've been using quite a bit lately for projects. Um, we're gonna be using one ball of this. So each ball of this is 246 yards, 225 meters. 3.5 ounces and 100 grams. Um, it is acrylic and you can machine wash and dry it. Now, the recommended hook size for this yarn is a 5.5 millimeter eye hook, but if you notice, we're gonna be going up a hook size and using the J hook. Um, it'll just give our slouch a little more slouchiness, okay? Um, if you need to substitute yarn, just look for, on your yarn label, look for that ball of yarn with the number in it. This is a medium four on the yarn weight scale and one that recommends the eye hook, even though we're switching the hook size. But if you stick with those um, measurements and weights, you'll be just fine. So 246 yards of a medium four weight yarn. And then the color we're gonna be using, this is like a soft, kind of very wearable sage green color. It's called tourmaline. Um, and just know if you need to add another ball of yarn, we're gonna be using just one ball of yarn, but if you need to add another ball of yarn, it does come in dye lots, just as a side note. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna begin by doing a starting chain, creating a brim and working our way up, okay? Our brim is gonna have some post stitches and then the top part will be V stitches. So it's a nice little contrast of stitches and textures that we'll be creating. So to begin, what we're gonna do is put a slip knot on our hook, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, Bring the yarn behind that loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop and tighten. Next, we're going to chain 56. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. 53, 54, 55, and 56. So here is our starting chain, and this will end up being the very bottom edge of the brim of our hat. Next, we're gonna go down to the farthest chain from our hook. So that was the first chain that we made. We're gonna go all the way down to the end here. And you wanna make sure that you don't twist your chain up. So the easy way to do that, to make sure you don't twist it, is to just take your thumb and run it along the fronts of your chains. So the fronts look like Vs and the backs look like um, interlocked chains, okay? So just take your thumb and run it down the fronts of those chains and if you get to a spot where it twists, just gently untwist it. And we're just gonna, and running your finger down like this will keep it from twisting. 
so that you don't have a twisty uh, chain when you begin. So you might have to kind of untwist it a little as you go, but I just like to run my thumb down the chain so that it doesn't twist up on me until you get to that very first chain that you made. So then what we're gonna do is insert the hook into that farthest chain from the hook, and we're gonna work a slip stitch, okay? So wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through that loop. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. And now we have a circle that we will be working our stitches into. And as you can see, it's pretty stretchy. So what we wanna do is begin round one, okay? So for round one, it's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and then you're gonna work a double crochet in each one of these chains all the way around, okay? So let's go into this first chain here, and we're gonna work a double crochet into that first chain. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in case you've never done a double crochet. Okay, and then a double crochet in the next chain. So if you're not familiar with it, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into that chain, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops, and that's the double crochet. So we're just gonna work a double crochet in each chain all the way around. So go to the next chain, double crochet. Next chain, double crochet, and so forth, okay? So I'm gonna keep working my double crochets all the way around, and we're gonna rejoin when we're almost done this round, and I'm gonna show you how to finish up round one, and we're gonna move on to round two together. Okay, just a few more stitches left, which we're just working a double crochet in each chain. And then here we are at our last chain. I'm just gonna work a double crochet into that one. Now, when you're at the end of your round here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go that starting chain that we did, remember that chain three? You're gonna go in the third chain up, one, two, three, and join with a slip stitch. Insert the hook into that third chain up, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, okay? So now round one is complete. So we're gonna start adding some texture to our brim now. So what we're, we're gonna do next is for rounds two, three, and four, we're gonna do the same thing, okay? So all you wanna do for that is chain three. We're gonna start round two, but we'll do the same thing for rounds two, three, and four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, chain three. And then in that next double crochet that you come to, so this is kind of stacked on top of that chain three from the previous round, but that next double crochet, we're gonna work a front post double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So let's do the first couple together. So wrap the yarn around the hook, and then instead of going into the stitch at the top, what we're gonna do is take our hook and come up under that post. So when you talk about the anatomy of a stitch, the, the stitch part that you work into is this little loop at the top, and then the, the stitch, the double crochet stitch itself is uh, the post, it's like a column. So we're gonna go wrap the yarn around the hook, come up under that post, wrap yarn around hook once more, bring it back through the way you came. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Now we're gonna do that all the way around. So go to the next uh, double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, come up under that post again, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it back through the way you came. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops, okay? So you're just gonna do this all the way around. And this is gonna create a really nice ribbed um, brim for our hat, okay? So let's keep going, working our front post double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And when we get towards the end of round two, uh, we'll rejoin, I'll show you how to finish up the round, okay? Okay, just working those last few front post double crochet stitches. Just a few more left. And now, after we work this last one here, we'll be at the end of the round. So at the end of round two. And all we're gonna do once again is count three chains up like we did before and join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? Same thing we did before. So like I mentioned before, rounds two, three, and four are the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and work rounds three and four because two, we did, three and four. And then we're gonna move on to the top part of the hat, the V stitch, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and work 
uh, rounds three and four, repeating what I did on round two, and we'll rejoin in just a moment. Okay, just coming up to the end of round four. Remember we did rounds two, three, and four the same way. And just working those front post double crochets, and now we're back at that chain three. So once again, count three chains up, join to close with the slip stitch. Now we're ready to move on to our V stitches, okay? So what we're gonna do for round five is chain three, once again, one, two, three. Then we're gonna skip the next stitch, and in the stitch after that, we're gonna work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Just like that, and that will be our first V stitch. We're gonna skip the next stitch, and in the stitch after that, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch, work your next V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, and we're just gonna repeat this sequence all the way around. You can already see the little bit of um, contrasting textures that we're getting. It's sort of like a, a nice substantial rib and then some lacy V stitches. So I really like that contrast. Let's do a few more together and then we'll kind of depart on our own. Skip the next stitch and in the stitch after that, work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, work your next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and so forth, okay? I'm gonna keep working around doing the same thing. So skip the next stitch, in the stitch after that, work double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and so forth. So keep going, I'm gonna keep working all the way around, and when we get towards the end of this round, we'll rejoin and I'll show you how to keep going. Okay, just coming up to the end, we're gonna skip one more stitch, and in the stitch after that, work a V. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, then skip the next stitch and we're at the beginning again. So we're gonna count one, two, three chains up like we've done all along. Join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, let's learn our, our sixth round. This is our final round that we'll be learning. We now have our lovely ribbed brim and some lacy V stitches, okay? So let's keep going with round six. What, what we're gonna do for that is chain three. Once again, one, two, three. Now this is the round that you'll repeat for the rest of the hat, and it's the easiest round. All we're gonna do is work a V and do each V uh, from the previous round. So hop over to that first V and right in that chain one space. Remember we did the double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That created that, that space, that chain one space it's called in the written pattern on the blog. So right in that chain one space, you'll just do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and that's it. Hop over to the next V, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, okay? And then just do that all the way around. I'm gonna keep going with my V stitches and we'll rejoin in just a minute. Okay, coming up to our last V stitch of the round double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and we're gonna join one, two, three, and that third chain up with a slip stitch to close, okay? So now what we're gonna do is just keep repeating round six. Let me just straighten everything out. You can kinda give it a tug, straighten things out. We're just gonna keep repeating round six over and over and over again until, and keep going up, 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 until your slouch hat is as tall as you would like it to be. Now I say that because some people like a little, just a tiny bit of a slouch. Some people like a very slouchy slouch hat. So just keep going. I'm gonna keep going with my yarn and um, we'll rejoin in just a minute. I'm gonna give you some height measurements of, of what I came up with. However, Again, if you want 
you know, more slouch or less slouch than I'm doing, you know, you just keep going or stop a little bit sooner. Okay. So I'm going to keep going. And when we rejoin, our hat's going to be a lot taller and I'll give you some height measurements on that. Okay. Just working that very last stitch of the very last round. And then we're going to work a slip stitch in that third chain up. Same thing we've been doing to close the round. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now what we want to do, we have basically a tube right now. Okay. Here's where we began and we worked all the way up. Now, just to give you a frame of reference here, um, I mentioned before that I would give you a height here that we achieved. And if we go from the bottom edge and go all the way up to the top, we have about 13 and a half inches. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is grab our scissors and our tapestry needle because we're going to cinch up the top of our hat and we're going to weave in some ends at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to cut a tail that's about 24 inches long, give or take. So all you want to do is wrap the yarn around your hook and then just bring that tail all the way through, okay? And then just pull it up tight to snug it up. Then what we'll do is grab our hat and we're going to turn it inside out. We're going to turn it inside out with this tail that we have, this long tail, because we're going to use that to cinch it up. But first, let's take care of this tail here. So we only used one skein of yarn. And so we have a tail at the beginning and a tail at the end. So thread your needle and just go in this bottom stitch. And if you have a little bit of a gap here, like I do, you can kind of join them together. So just go through these stitches and then through the stitches on the other side. And you can sort of um, create a little knot and then weave the end in, okay? So you may or may not have that, but if you do, you can just take care of it that way. Okay, and then go in one direction and come back in the other direction and to lock that tail into place. Anything where you're going to be wearing it, it's going to have a lot of pushing and pulling and moving around. You want to make sure you get those ends in really good. Okay, now let's spin it around to the top of our hat. And we have our long tail that we created. This is probably too much yarn, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, so once again, we're going to thread our needle. And then we're just going to go all around the top edge of our hat like this. And we're going to go in and out, in and out, all the way around our hat. It doesn't have to be exact and precise, but you do want to go all the way around. And every so often you can pull your yarn through. And we're just going to do this all the way around. Now when you go up and down like this, when you go down and up, down and up, all the way around, this is called a running stitch, just as a side note in case you were wondering. And we're going to do this all around the top edge of our hat, okay? And pull it through if you run out of space on your needle. And then just keep going all the way around until we're back where we started, okay? So this will just take a quick minute. And we'll just go all the way around that top edge until we're right back where we started. Okay, we're almost there. We're right here. Okay, so we just want to keep going around and around until we get back to where we started. Okay, so now we're back and then we just want to take our our uh, tail. I want to get that needle back on there because we need to fasten it off. So my needle fell off. I'm just going to re-thread it real quick. And we're going to just pull this really tight to cinch. You don't want to go to pull too hard because it could snap the yarn. Um, and then we're going to sort of like tack it down so it'll stay cinched. Okay. You want to I'm kind of holding it in place so it stays nice and cinched. And then you want to go right into that loop with your needle and you want to fasten it down. Just get that first initial little knot going, okay? Now, what I like to do is to just take my needle and kind of make a couple of crisscrosses just to kind of lock it into place, okay? So we're just going to go across, just kind of make like a, an X or two across here, okay? 
and that'll just keep everything nice and secure. Okay, and then just kind of come across here like that. And then we can just add one little last loop in our work and get a nice secure knot in there, okay? So you could even do that like once or twice. Let's do that twice, okay? All right, do one more loop in there and then just run your needle through it to, to kind of uh, tuck it down. Then while your needle is still threaded, let's thread this last little tail. You could snip this. This is the up in the inside of the hat. You'll never see it, but I'm just gonna weave that in so it looks nice and neat. Careful not to let your tails show on the outside of your hat. And then you just wanna give it a snip. And now let's turn our slouchy beanie right side out. Get everything, that, that cinch that we created, we're gonna get that straightened out. And it looks great. And it's all done. So when you wear it, you'll wear your head kind of here and you'll kind of pull this down and let this sort of kind of slouch down at the bottom, okay? You can see pictures of how I styled it over at the blog. The link is down below and you can check that out. So I hope you enjoyed this easy crochet slouchy beanie. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.